Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the latest booster set from Konami being Cyberstorm Access. Uh, so we'll jump into it. It's another uh, secret rare set uh, with five star lights possible. Before we get started, I want to announce uh, we do have a giveaway for this video as well. We're going to give away a copy of the Crystal Beast structure deck. Uh, so if you want to enter for that, be subscribed, leave a comment on the video. I want you to leave me a comment letting me know which one of the upcoming reprints of some of the early sets uh, that we're getting for the 25th anniversary. So we're getting reprints of Legend of Blue Eyes, Metal Raiders, uh, Spell Ruler uh, being the Magic Ruler reprint, Pharaoh's Servant, etc. We're getting reprints of those. Let me know which one of those that you're most looking forward to. I think everyone's looking forward to Legend of Blue Eyes. I definitely am. Uh, but I think that like Metal Raiders in particular, I, f I got a feeling that Metal Raiders is going to hit. I just got I got a feeling that those packs are going to going to drop for me when I when I open those. So let me know which one you're most looking forward to. Leave a comment. Be subscribed. You'll be entered for the giveaway. Uh, the April giveaway winners are announced right now in the community tab by the time you're watching this. So if you leave left comments on the videos for uh, last month, uh, go check the community tab. See if you won. Those are announced. Now let's get into it, see if we got anything good. We're still chasing that first starlight uh, on the channel, first starlight pull. And uh, we'll see if we got one in this video. So we got five copies, five uh, possibilities here. So we'll see if maybe this is the, the first time we have managed to luck out before. Uh, we're riding, still riding the high of the, uh, the Collector Baron. So maybe, maybe we'll continue on here. But there is five possibilities, and uh, we'll we'll see what we get. Not gonna do any pack tricks because I always mess them up anyway. So we'll fly into these. the The collector's rares. We got pig iron versus pin peg. We got imperial princess, sulfur cord symphony. We got super heavy samurai stealthy, and we've got our first ultra rare here. We got firewall defensor. As an ultra rare, we got dual avatar, super heavy samurai motorbike, mandanium, and sword soul punishment. So there are uh, some super heavy samurai cards in the set. Unlike collector's rare sets, we are guaranteed four ultra rares and a couple secrets. So that's nice. Unlike those collector rare sets where you only get hit with a three. So we got Sinet Circuit. We got Firewall Phantom, Firewall Phantom, we got Sakitama, we got Super Heavy Samurai, and then we got Manadium Fearless as a super. We got Manadium Breakheart, New Frontier, we've got Amazement, and then we got a Shattered Colorless Realm. Unfortunately, after uh, after a lot of the uh, collector's rares in particular, but this set kind of drops off in value. That's kind of the way they go, unfortunately. We got Kitty Tail, Mystical Beast of the Forest as a super rare in this pack. We got Pendulum Moon, and then we got Brightest Blazing Branded King, Super Heavy Samurai Monk Big Benki. They drop off pretty hard. There's a couple decent value ultra rares in the set. Some pretty good... Um, Secret rares as well, and then there's one uh, decently valued uh, super rare as well, but they drop off pretty hard. Gunkin Sue Ship Catch the Day, we got Kitsune Kitsune B, we got Golden Cloud Beast at Two Day of the Branded. We got our first secret rare, which is Vicious Astraloud. Uh, it's not going to be up there in the most valuable batch of them, but we got Makano Dance. We got Dynamorphia intact. We got Hailu or Huli, the Jewel Makano. We got Dream Tower, the Princess Nemeralia. They drop off kind of hard, um, which is kind of the way it goes on these. So there's there's some pretty decent values, some some decent like thirty forty dollar value cards, and, and we got Purely Lee. Back going to the Purely set, Fallen of the Aragos. We got how did that how did die get here? Gold Pride, it's neck and neck. We got B Trooper Cruel Saturnus. We got Reinforce. A shattered colorless realm again. Sword Soul Punishment. 
super heavy samurai motorbike. It's just the way it goes um, when it comes to kind of the set. They, they drop off a little bit. You know, there are some decent, there, there's decent value cards, but once once you get out of the, the first kind of the, the desired secrets and the desired ultras, it, it, it falls off. So in terms of like high value, there, there's not a lot. We got Harvest Angel of Doom as our secret, sorry, not secret, super rare for the pack. Amazement, Abomination, Arlinko, Makano Danch, Mayo Washadori, Dynamorphia Intact. I feel like they just put uh, the longest titles on the cards, the longest card names. Give me a challenge to read these. All right, Imperial Princess, Pig Iron versus Pen Pig. We got Virtual World Tiger Fufu. Sign at Circuit. We got Super Heavy Samurai Brave. Uh, Masurar. Marsuraro as our next Ultra in the set. So there's our second. So we got two Ultras and one Secret thus far. Dual Avatar. New Frontier. And Nemeralia, Dream Defender, Aurelia. All right, we got Firewall Phantom. We've got Gold Pride to neck and neck again. Oh, we got Farlin of Argios, Pure Lili. Protect Code Talker, Kashtira Extra. We got Hot Hat Sugai, Gold Pride, Pedal to the Metal, and Full Active Duplex. Oh, Timber. All right, Cybers. We got Purely Sleepy Memory. Ugh, can't say that. Moisa Knight, the Comet General. We got Solve Accord Symphony. We've got Adularia of the June Moon. Cyber Sage. Pindle Moon. Super Heavy Samurai Milk Big Minky. Sweet Dreams the Melia. Yeah, like let's let's throw the longest card titles we can possibly come up with. Make it make it difficult to to get these red fast. Kitsune Kitsune B. Bunny Ear Enthusiast. We got Pendulum Pendant. We got Two Day of the Branded. Wish Dragon as a super. We got Brightest Blazing Branded King, Manadanium Imaginings, Manadanium Breakheart. We got Dream Tower, the Princess Nemeralia. It's like imagine if we had to read the effects on the cards to go through at the same time. We got Double Hooking, How Did I Get Here? We got Golden Cloud Beast Malong. We got Super Heavy Ram Samurai Soul Gaia Booster. Tri Brigade Roar is our super for the pack. Dual Avatar, New Frontier. We got Nemeralia, Dream Defender, and Full Active Duplex. Be here, be here for a month. Saw one of these cards had like a two paragraph long text. We got Sakitama, Moisa Knight, the Comet General. We got Gold Pride, it's neck and neck. Cypress, the Sub Robber Worm. S Force Knight Chaser, and then a Shattered Colorless Realm Cyber Sage, Super Heavy Samurai Monk Big Benki, Gold Pride Pedal to the Metal. And that's our first 12 packs down and done. No Starlight thus far. We still never pulled a Starlight on camera here. Firewall Phantom, Manadanium Reframing, Fallen of Argios, Pig Iron. We got Gold Pride. That came out of nowhere. All right. That did come out of nowhere. Brightest Blazing Branded King, the Merrily a Dream Defender. We got Sword Soul Punishment, Pendulum Moon, wraps out the pack. Question is whether the Gold Pride archetype is going to be anything decent. They haven't really caught on yet. We got Wannabe as a super rare there, and then Fusion Duplication. Hi Lu Huli, the jewel Monicano. All right, sign at circuit, golden cloud beast. We got trap tracks, sulfur chord symphony. We got rebirth of the seven emperors is a super rare. We got manadanium Hatsugai, Kashtira Oxtra, manadanium imaginings wraps us out.
They've done a couple starlights. There's a starlight in this set for Gold Pride, but I just I, I'm not seeing anything really really catch on. Nobody's nobody's really playing them. We got Chaos Angel as a secret rare here for this set as well. So that's a decent secret rare or decent for this pack. Reinforce. So. Two secrets, not boding well for our, oh, we'll just jump right to Mandanium Meek. We got Numeria, we got a Shattered Colors Realm, Sword Soul Punishment, and a Hui again. All right, we got Imperial Princess, we got Gunkin Sea Ship, we got Cynet Circuit, we got Gold Pride, it's neck and neck again, we got Cynet Rollback as a super rare New Frontier, Gold Pride Pedal to the Metal, and Super Heavy Samurai Motorbike. Oh, and we skipped Brightest Blazing Brandon King. And I'm going to knock you guys over again. Don't worry. We'll just do that a few times a video. It's part of the experience. Saki Tama. Fallen of Argios, Mandanium Reframing, Trap Tracks. We got Gold Pride, Chariot Carry. If only we could have gotten the Starlight of this. Would have been nice. Ultra Rare though, not bad. I'll take it. Dream Tower, Princess Nemeria. We got Fusion Duplication. We got Cyber Sage, Mandanium Breakheart. Wraps us out on that pack. Got a few packs left. Let's get through them. Get the trash off to the side here. All right, we got Kitsune, Kitsune B, we got Firewall Phantom, Sulfur Court Symphony, Moisa Knight, Comet General, we got Mandanium Fearless, Super Heavy, oh, Super Heavy Samurai Monk, Big Ben Key, we got Reinforce, uh, Nermeria, Dream Defender. Still, still looking for that Starlight. Since we've gotten two super rares in this pack, not super rares, two secret rares in this pack, I don't think we're going to get it. Uh, that's generally secret rares are replaced by Starlights. So we got B Trooper Cruel Saturnus. We are not going to have a first pull on camera for this. We do have one Starlight actually, um, but never pulled one on camera. So we're still looking. Um, just luck is not on our side. One day we're we're saving our luck for the for the for the good packs, right? We're saving them up for the reprints of Legend of Blue Eyes, where we're gonna pull nothing but Blue Eyes White Dragon reprints: Tri Brigade Roar, Kashtira Extra, Sweet Dreams, and Amazement Abomination, and Pendulum Moon. We're gonna get everything. We're gonna get Blue Eyes. We're gonna get all five pieces of Exodia. Get a Dark Magician. We're going to get Jinzo from Pharaoh's Servant. I mean, it's that's what we're going for. We got tri uh, Time Tearing Morganite. This is the best super rare, by the way, side note, in the set overall. So that's worth taking note of. So mark that down. Makano Dance, Mayo Wishidori, Hatsugai, ha uh, Who Lead the Jewel Makano, Reinforce. Wish I could have gotten a few more of those. I did get a couple duplicates on super rares. That would have been a great one to get. Uh, that's like a $350, $4 ish uh, super rare. Uh, so, I like giving you guys prices. I don't sell cards, but I like giving you guys uh, prices. We got Grand Solve Accord Coolia to let you know kind of where things stand market wise. Uh, that's at least uh, worth taking note of uh, when I'm aware of what is out there. So let's go back through. That was our last pack. Uh, so we got Gold Pride, Chariot Carry, which is one of the Starlights. We only got the ultra rare version. We got Chaos Angel as a secret rare. We got Gold Pride that came out of nowhere. Oops. We'll just throw those on the ground real quick, right? Uh, was one of our ultras. I cannot hold these cards worth a darn. Uh, that's one of our ultras. We've got Super Heavy Samurai, Brave, Master Rao, and then Vicious uh, Astraloud as our other secret. And then Firewall Defensor was our final Ultra Rare. So that's what we got for the video. Didn't get our first Starlight pull on video uh, yet in this one either. So we'll continue on the next one. Um, remember to enter for the giveaway for Structure Deck Crystal Beast. Uh, let me know what 
you want to see what you're most excited for of the anniversary reprints. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Make sure to check the community tab to see if you won the April giveaways. Take care. See you in the next one. Peace out.